<laughs> cast of characters. <laughs> That's, that that just that they were something else. Mm-hmm. Holy smokes! <laughs> so uh, we uh, we're, we're now going to get into the uh, get into the second hour, which we all know what's what's going to happen in the second hour here. Uh, <laughs> that means our uh, our porn star is going to join us here in just a few moments, and uh, we also are going to check in with the, the the man, the myth, the legend, Mister DJ Dan over there in uh Lester over in the United Kingdom. Um he is he is something else as well. I I love Dan. He is <laughs> Yeah. It's funny to get him in on the porn right on time. That's right. You that's know? right. We need to we need to get him right, you know, right as 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 quick as we possibly can here. Um With a stash and a smash. <laughs> Yes! Yes! That is Samantha Lavelle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> from the thrash to the... That's got to be a goddamn t-shirt, my friend. We... Uh, <laughs> wow. That that even woke P- Peter Peter the Kitty up over here. Uh, so... Uh, so, uh... Tell me, uh... uh First of all, uh, before before we get to our guest, uh, tell us about your radio program and everything you got going on uh, during the week. Oh, for mine. Oh, so I have yes. the let's. Oh, so I have the let's get activated podcast. It's on Thursdays, seven p.m. Eastern. It streams live on my Facebook, on my Certified Nations Facebook page. It streams live on YouTube. It also will stream live on the whoever we're interviewing's page. Um, we usually go for maybe hour, hour and a half. Sometimes they feel comfortable, and we just you know ride the wave till they're done talking, and then. Uh, <laughs> Then we uh, downloaded to the IG, and it's it's been great. We have a lot of uh, people that have been coming on there, like um, a legend in the hip hop world, Agala Don Bishop, was just on there week before last. And uh, I'm gonna have Cool Rockski of the Fat Boys on on the 25th. Wow, that's so, yeah, awesome. We're doing a lot. <laughs> that's cool. Well, uh, our next guest joins us here on our big broadcast. Rock and Rose is with us. And uh, she is fantastic. She is what Ross Long would term a perv magnet. And uh, she's with us today here on our big broadcast. Rock and Rose, how are you, my friend? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we um, can hear great. you and we can see what you. About you. And uh, you are just as, as Ross Long would describe you. You are quite the perv oh magnet, my, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, tell me and Samantha a little bit about your uh, your background and everything, because you were a member of the Russian National Gymnastics Team. Yes, that's correct. I was doing gymnastics uh, since I was five, um, probably for five, six years. So it has been quite a long way for me. Um, but, you know, it's it helped me to become who I am. So it's a lot of like discipline in my life because of, you know, many years of gymnastics. That's really awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, you learned about discipline basically from what I can tell. Mm, Not, not only (laughs) it's actually, uh, probably build me as a very strong character because you have to compete with many strong women, uh, in very young age. And it's very difficult because, uh, you don't have friends. You basically have like, you know, competitors, and um, it's very hard mentally, um, like in this young age, to be putting together with women and just you have to win, and that's about it. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of hard. <laughs> But yeah, the discipline is really helping too. And of course, all the physical um, training that I have been doing, it's really, really helped me to do what I do right now. Because my body is respond very easily to new trainings or whatever I want to learn. Yes. Yes. 
We have got a great guest with us today. Samantha and I are chatting with Rockin' Rose uh, here on our big program. And uh, you have, uh, you you are just a, just an amazing individual. I look at this bio and you have got a little bit of everything because usually when we have, uh, especially lately, whenever me and Samantha talk, talk to porn stars, usually that's what they're doing. That's it. You have got a hell of a background here. Uh, you received a master's in world economics from the University of Moscow by the time you were 22. Talk to us about this. That is a hell of an achievement. Well, <laughs> you think it is achievement. Yes, it was difficult. I guess it is one of my the most difficult degrees that I've done. I don't think I'm using it as much as I would like to, but... Um, yeah, I, I thought back when I was 17, that's my path and that's what I want to do. So I actually entered to university and just go through all of a degree, <laughs> basically try to learn and become economist. It's actually more transfer to United States, like a political science, not exactly like world economics. I don't know if you guys have the same kind of degree. Yes. So it helped me actually to learn several languages. I mean, English the most, what I learned, but German, uh, I kind of forgot. <laughs> but <laughs> there was a requirement, so that's really helped me to learn a lot about cult cultures, you know, about Americans. So that's that was great. It's a great experience. That's awesome. We've got Rock and Rose with us today. She's an entertainer, performer. She's a model. She's an artist. She's a dancer. And uh, you can get more information at OnlyFans.com slash Rock and Rose. And she's with us today here on our big program. And uh, I, I am just amazed that uh, the Russian National Gymnastics team, you got this got this uh, economic degree by the time you were 22. <laughs> and it's like, you're not done yet. <laughs> no. that, that is So uh, you've also studied web design, and now you're doing filmmaking. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm not done yet <laughs> 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 because I kind of looking audio engineering too, because it's go together with filmmaking very well. Um, yeah, I was thinking like, what's the degree I should take? And I was thinking IT is my thing. And I entered it and I tried to take a few classes and it was so difficult. It just kicked my ass. My English <laughs> wasn't that good. And I was, <laughs> oh my God, I was taking all these uh, classes, uh, uh, tutoring, and I tried to learn this is language and I just cannot. It was so boring. Um, <laughs> it was difficult. You have to really be able to understand that. Uh, so I decided to get a little bit easy on myself and then decided to get like web design. So it's like a coding, but at the same time you learn a lot of graphic and visual. Uh, so that actually was the most useful thing I ever done because you learn um, InDesign, Illustrator, you, lo you learn Photoshop, you learn basically everything what you can in Adobe. So it, it made me like social media uh, creator, I don't know, I can create anything like flyers or any promotional, any editing that I can do, I, I do myself. So I don't need any other people to help me. <laughs> That's to awesome. It, so. Well, you know, b b before we got you on, Samantha was telling us about the fact that uh, she pretty much is a, is a one one woman show now too. So uh, I, I think that's great. That's great. That, uh, yeah, <laughs> we can relate on that. She wears many yeah. hats like I do. You know? <laughs> They're all schools. <laughs> well, women are taking it over, Jiggy. Well, you know, I am I am actually happy for that because I need a break. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> we have got a great guest with us today. Rockin' Rose is with us, and uh, she is, uh, as Ross Long would say, she is she is a perv magnet. Uh, you can find her on the old Twitter machine, uh, Rockin' Rose MFC. That's R-O-C-K-N-R-O-S-E-M-F-C. And she's with us today here on our big program. And uh, Samantha, uh, I'm going to let you ask some questions here. I'll get the hell out of the way and let the people with talent talk. 
well and talk. Um, so what made you um, come up with your name, Rock and Rose? I love that name. Honestly, I try to find something very easy uh, to remember. And I also like rock music. So, um, you know, like on this website, um, you create a fan base. So you would like that part of this nickname, they can take it and actually use it. So it's, you know, kind of related to you. So a lot of people are actually taking rocking and they add their name. So Rock and Roses has actually worked out really well for me. I don't remember how I came up up with this i guess i heard it somewhere but it was like in my head and i was very surprised it was available too so i really went for it that's you great know. perfect we're yeah. you know rocking out yeah, <laughs> perfect. yeah. <laughs> what do you have like going on like for this year considering we're kind of in this pandemic any future plans and things like that yeah uh of course there's always um plans ahead actually last year taught me a lot um you know, I make uh, shows very similar to, um, you know, Circus du Soleil, Broadway. Yes. But I add actually erotism to that. It means like, if you um, ever watched Circus du Soleil, Zumanity. Mm -hmm. So that's very similar to that. I combine different things. So I make uh, monthly shows like that. Uh, but since last year, all of it happened, um, I, you know, all the props, all the costumes become really hard to ship in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. So now I actually plan everything um, eight months in advance. So I still do wow. all of the things, but uh, I just like right now planning for Halloween. <laughs> so That's... this is how wow. hard you have to go. <laughs> so, but yes, I'm planning a few shows, about eight of them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be fun. Um, I haven't done them yet. It's very interesting and different. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I think we've got Chris mm -hmm. Ortiz joining us. Chris, can you hear us, sir? Oh, no, I can't hear him. That mic is so fantastic. <laughs> and I never it's can great. hear him out of it. <laughs> it's so great. It's great, but... <laughs> Oh, can you hear me now? There we are. We got you, yeah, baby. There you go. We got you, baby. <laughs> okay. We have got uh, Rock and Rose with us today. She joins us live here on our big program, and of course, you want to find her on the uh, the old Twitter machine. It is R O C K, the letter N R O S E M F C. She also is available on OnlyFans at OnlyFans.com slash Rock and Rose. And she is uh, quite the perv magnet, as our good friend Ross Long would call her. And um, so, so you have had um, these. By the way, you just had a birthday a couple of days ago, right? I had it yesterday. So yes. I just woke up. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. It was yesterday. That's awesome. Happy That's awesome. Related. Thank you. It was great. So, uh, to say... go ahead, my friend. Jump in there. That. Um, we have a community that's so amazing because yesterday was my birthday and I was online and you know like you have your members but I've never seen that so many women from the same website where you work and compete with actually mm -hmm. come and support you I like it's amazing it's just like they come and they celebrate the tip it's just I was so overwhelmed it's amazing it's really mm -hmm. girls are great. That's awesome. Sound like a great birthday. Maybe I need to give me an OnlyFans. You know, you already you, started yours, Chris. Exactly. Yeah, you can you can be anything there. Mm -hmm. Necessarily you have to follow like everybody else. You yes. have to be unique. That's why people join to you. Mm -hmm. So uh Rock and Rose, you've studied web design in the past. Um, you have written a couple of short scripts. Tell us a little bit about this with your filmmaking. Mm, yes, <laughs> actually, I make um, videos um, for myself as well. Uh, so I, my scripts are um, more like um, actually like a fun comedies, but a little bit on the dark side. I created a web series that called Bad Grandma. So it's basically about <laughs> the, the old lady uh, that doing some really crazy stuff. Actually, I made the show that 
kind of related to that also on the website. So people really love it because imagine me as a young lady dressed up like old lady and do all the special effect makeup. So you would be surprised, but actually a lot of people into that. So the series um, that I wrote is about her doing some fun thing. Um, it has about probably 10 episodes. And um, I haven't done anything with that further away because yeah. of COVID. But, you know, one of the uh, professors, um, he wanted to invest so I can actually start to um, produce. Wow. Which is, was amazing. Yeah. That's yeah, great. Then everything starts. So we have now, uh, Rock and Rose is with us today. We've also got uh, my good friend, your good friend, everybody's good friend, Mr. Chris Ortiz. And uh, <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, br brand new to OnlyFans, uh, Chris Ortiz. And uh, then we've got <laughs> we've got uh, my close personal longtime friend, the uh, amazing Samantha Lavelle. Mm. Uh, she has got she has got so many hats. She is wearing so many hats. She is uh, busier than a ferret in a jello fight, uh, and uh, she's <laughs> she's with us she's with us today. And uh, our guest, Rock and Rose, joins us here in our program. And uh, you've you've accomplished a lot of things uh, in the adult streaming industry over the last few years. Uh, you were talking to us a little bit about what you do, where you mix a style of burlesque, aerial acrobatics dance broadway style and you do erotic shows what's been the feedback to this mm, it's what do people actually think been of a lot of feedback yes because first of all people they are not just to see yeah it's amazing to see naked women but <laughs> at the same time they want to be entertained and a great substitute to actual the adult <laughs> streaming it is uh, to make people laugh and yeah. all of the shows it's make them entertained they really like uh, how unique it is and I saw many girls actually follow my steps and they start to create also the different shows because uh, like a long time ago the camming was basically the girl sit in front of camera and she talks but so now you can actually bring something more to it you don't have to just limit yourself to just interaction. You can create a whole show. <laughs> so and the people really yes. love it. It's, um, it's They show all the appreciation. It's on social media. They always um, send some um, appreciation tips. So that basically tells that they love it. Awesome. Awesome. Now... Uh... You have uh, just an, an amazing uh, background here. I just I, I just can't believe you go from being the member of the Russian national gymnastics team to getting this degree to being a web designer, a filmmaker, being in the porn world, uh, carving out your own niche with this uh, burlesque, aerial, acrobatic kind of thing. Uh, just just amazing. Uh, have, have you have you noticed anybody like you in the adult world or when i started or right now because well, right both now, definitely. both <laughs> definitely uh i i get a huge response from all the people not only from members but from models as well so which is i really appreciate that i'm very fortunate and i'm humble about it so yes definitely <laughs> that's awesome that's Sorry, awesome. No well, uh, Chris, do you have any questions, my man, since we've got you here? Well, with the, uh, you know, I had a really good question. <laughs> and then I was like, crap, man. Uh, I mean, it's like. She yeah. is hot. You, 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 would e you would easily lose your train of thought. Yeah, I did. I think she just texted me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, so, so with the, with the whole, I don't know if you guys already talked about it, but the whole COVID deal, has it, has it really affected, you know, with you doing your whole film, filming or anything like that with like having extra people in there with you? Uh, I only have actually one person who helped me a little bit with, uh, 
shooting the videos. I do everything mm -hmm. else, uh, post-production, planning and finding uh, the place where I'm going to shoot it. So uh, it didn't really change. The only change is the timing because everything takes longer right now. Um, yeah. You know, just if I could get something in three days right now, it's questionable. I <laughs> so got that's you. the only problem. But I don't think it's uh, really affect the industry in any way, actually. I, I got so you. It made it even I, more appealing, I assume, for people since a lot of people are spending time at home. So, uh, so Samantha, uh, jump back in there, my friend. I know you've probably got some questions for her. Oh, yes, here. So um, is there any, um, I know you said you were kind of doing the different videos and stuff. So are there any um, favorite themes of yours, like within the videos? <laughs> Actually, yes. Um, I'm creating mm -hmm. monthly videos. So um, I had the, uh, the January one. Uh, I created, I know what you did last summer. And that's when I combined all kind of funny things. Um, and um, I shot a lot of different uh fun scenes and uh it's all combined with erotisms and um the guys love it <laughs> it's actually i really love to do uh comedy um because it's a great way um you know kind of mix it up things not just be one dimensional mm -hmm. yeah raise so, the eyes too yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so going through your your twitter here I happened to find this photo. What the hell is this? It looks like you are you are in a giant like uh is it like a mushroom? You're naked near a uh, mushroom. What the hell it's is not this? It's not a mushroom, it's actually a very creative house. Oh uh, really? Yes, it's it's very amazing. It looks like a Pace house. I don't know. It's kind of combination of 60s, and it's so amazing. It's like fairy tale house. I don't know. I found it close where I live, and I decided that I want to shoot some pictures there. <laughs> it's very beautiful. It it is. Uh, it looks like you photoshopped yourself into something, but this oh, is really? a real deal. This is awesome. No, it's actually, I, I haven't photoshopped myself in. It's exactly what you see. That's how it was. Wow. I just, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> that is amazing. Rock and Rose with us today. She joins us live here on our broadcast. Samantha is with us. And, of course, the lovely and talented Chris Ortiz. And, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> And uh, and Chris, Samantha told us that she's got a show she's going to be doing July 3rd in Manhattan. So you might need to keep your calendar clear and you might need to go with us to this, uh, to this thing. Let me, let me check my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're ready, too. <laughs> so uh, got Sharpies ready. You've got Sharpies ready, yes. He's ready. So, uh, Rock and Rose, you also did uh, a The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Oh, my God. Yes, I did. Uh, what the heck is this? You dressed up like The Grinch. Oh, you would be surprised. Uh, I, I was thinking, oh, my God, it is such a big failure, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because you're kind of playing this awful, like, nasty guy, right? You all saw the movie. Uh, and I have to be like, sexy so i i had weeks after this grinch when are you going to paint yourself in green when are you going to paint when are you going to be again i said like well i can't be in february grinch and just people cannot let it go they really love it it's just something about being painted in green i think well you <laughs> but... look hot so may, oh, maybe you. maybe that's maybe that's part of it i i don't know sure. uh but uh <laughs> We have got. I hope that was the reason. Yes. <laughs> Rock and Rose with us today. She joins us live here in her broadcast. So does Chris Ortiz, and of course the the fantastic Samantha Lavelle is with us. And um, so you you want to eventually produce films or a series? What 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 are some of your other goals uh, that you've got, my friend? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> 
Well, of course, that's my primary goals, but I want to keep improving what I do. Um, I probably want to get another degree just so I have it. Um, and um, once we're going to get back to regular life and everything is going to open it up, I'm planning to come back uh, to more intense training um, and I would like to learn a few new things because even though I have it at home, I still like when there's a coaches that pushes you a little bit harder because I always a little procrastinate, you know, when you by yourself, nobody pushes. So <laughs> definitely um, we'll plan to learn a few new tricks, <laughs> something <laughs> that I can use for work for sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. It is Rock and Rose with us today. So what do you have on your OnlyFans that people could go check out? Oh, there's a lot of different content. Uh, so I have a lot of behind the scenes. I have uh, professional shooting. I have videos. I have my daily life. Of course, I have erotic content as well, um, where you only can find it on OnlyFans. Um, so there is a whole combination, and I treat only fans as entertainment like you know people like social media and it, this is basically social media as well so you can find anything everything about me awesome awesome rock and rose with us today uh you have quite the background there on skype uh are those lamps behind you Actually, mm -hmm. I set it up uh, just a week ago. I was doing a secretary show, <laughs> and I just put it together <laughs> just to have it, and I haven't put it down yet. So it's everything what you see, it's just props. That's awesome. <laughs> so, but yes, it is lamps. And actually, this is books. They're not real. They are just like, like I said, they are props, and it's like... <laughs> Board. Wow! Wow! <laughs> she's got a she's got a dollhouse in there. I love it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So, uh, dong dong. <laughs> yes, it's probably a, a a drunk rapper who wants to hawk his mixtape. That's usually what happens on this show. They're my DMs. All <laughs> Now, um, Rock and Rose, I guess as we wrap up here with you, my friend, um, what is the best spot for people to get a hold of you online and, and, and everywhere else? I think it's my OnlyFans. Um, it's OnlyFans dash Rock and Rose. And my Twitter, so it's Rock and Rose MPC. Fantastic. Uh, Fantastic. Yes. So um, I, are you going to be trying to make it out to any of the Exotica events this year? Because... Uh, um, I'm thinking about it, actually. Um, first, it was conversation about the booth, but it looks like they want me to do some show on the stage. So um, I'm going to look into that. Um, I haven't been to any of this event, so it's all new to me. Um, oh, but it's a, I'm looking forward it's to It's quite that. the party. It is quite it the is. party, my friend. Uh, Exotica, of course, is going to be uh, coming back. It is uh, going to be a huge, huge year for Exotica. Uh, they're going to be in Chicago July 16th through the 18th. Of course, my, that's where we're going to be. That's where me and Ortiz and, uh, and the lovely Nia Lilly and uh, the, uh, the liar herself, Brittany Baxter, will be there. And uh, my... <laughs> In Miami, Florida, uh, <laughs> September 17th through the 19th. And then, of course, Edison, New Jersey, October 22nd through the 24th. And, Samantha, if you happen to get back to New Jersey by then, let me know, and I'll get you in. And you and uh, okay. Rock and Rose here can hang out at the, uh, at, if she goes to the New Jersey <laughs> one. With a pleasure. <laughs> there you go. Yay. And, there you uh, go. of course, Washington, D.C., December 3rd through the 5th, which... Uh, Oh boy, that that should be fun. Um, ladies free on Fridays and uh, Rock and Rose. Thanks for doing this. You have been a treat. We have really enjoyed chatting with you. I'm just amazed about all your accomplishments that you've made, and and you're barely what 23 years old, 24 years old. Holy yeah, smokes! Sure. Just amazing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm a roll with that. <laughs> 
I well, to you, my Sunday. <laughs> you, you, you are a great sport. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for coming on and uh, chatting with me and Chris and, uh, and the lovely Samantha. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it, my friend. There she goes, rocking Rose. And um, what'd you think of her, Chris Ortiz? She was quite the little perv magnet. Man, I was about to have to ask her on a date. 